Today I'm going to be covering using text to columns in Excel. Here we have something inserted say from a database where you have several records. You'd obviously have more columns than this, but you have several records and in this case they came in they were supposed to be dates, they represent dates, but they didn't come in looking like dates the way that you want them formatted. They're not seen as dates, nor are they in a typical month, month, day, day, year, 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 year format that you would be used to. Uh, instead, they came in, and honestly, previous versions from 2008, 2007 would see these as text. This is still seen as a number because you can tell it's right flanked. But were you to go into formatting, and under uh, date rather and try and format you can tell already by the sample that's going to be gobbledygook and indeed it is so what we need to do is use text to columns and a little bit of concatenating in order to get this to where every one of these are dates I mean, you can imagine how long it would take to look at what the date was and then type it in and indeed it sees it as a date but we have several thousand records here so let's use text to columns. First you'll select everything in that column, go into data, and then select text to columns. Now there are many cases when you get better at it in which you would use either delimited, no matter how it's delimited, either comma, tab, or even space. But in this case we're going to use fixed width, which I think is a little more atypical and therefore hopefully helpful in this instructional because some people who have used text to columns might not even have used fixed width for anything. And we'll go next here and you see what we want is to break out the year, the month, and the day. So we're just going to say well we want a space there to break out those two and then a divider there as well. And then we'll just click finish and you see what it does. Well this up here was because I had just manipulated that earlier. Uh, what it did here is, so now you have the year, month, and day in separate columns. Now you have a little bit more to work with, but obviously it's not a finished product. It still doesn't look like a date. So what we need to do here is a little concatenating to get these joined together. That's what concatenation does. So first we want the month. So we're going to say equals that cell. Use the concatenator symbol, which is an ampersand. And quote just means whatever's put inside it is very literal. You can put anything in there. In this case, we're going to put a divider because that's what we want in the date. And then we're going to concatenate again for the day, concatenating another divider, and lastly concatenating the year. Hit enter, and then you see that it now looks a little bit more like a date. Still have a little ways to go. And it's important to know too that the date is not really the value here. Up here you see the value. So we're, that will mean that later on we're going to need to make sure that what the cell sees is the result of the formula, not the formula itself. But for now, what we're going to do is wait, uh, go to the bottom right corner until you see the black cross and simply double click to autofill all of those cells. And again, all you're seeing is this up here. Or that's all Excel sees, I should say. So you're going to copy, which is either edit, copy, or control C or um, command C on the Mac. Select the topmost cell in that column, right click or control click, and put in paste special values number formats, OK. And now you see it's actually the value and not the formula. But if you extend this out, you'll see it still sees it as text, not as a number. So what we need to do is, this is a little hack in order to get any cell that is seeing it, that the, where the cell's formatting is seeing it as text, but you want to see it as a number, here's an easy hack to remember. You simply copy a blank cell, select the range that you want to be seen as a number, right click or control click, paste special, and then do add, and that's it. You click OK, and it turns it into a number. But now this is still not exactly what we want, obviously we want it to be a date. What is this number? Well, if I'm not mistaken, it's the number of days since 1900. Uh, essentially, it is seeing it as a date. It's just in right form. It is, just isn't the right format. So we're going to apply the formatting now. And now you can see via the sample that indeed it is now seeing it as a date. And now you can use anything that you would normally be able to do when the cell sees it appropriately, such as the difference between two dates or any other function you'd like to use. But that's a quick look at text to columns 
and this is only a, a smattering of its true potential in Excel.